Hey guys, it's Anthony here from sixfitandabove.co.uk. As I'm sure you're all aware, I've not really been on the YouTube scene at all lately, and all I can do is apologise for that. Um, it's mainly because I've been dealing with some personal stuff at the moment, and you won't find it anywhere on my Instagram, nothing like that, because obviously it's not something that I really want to be sharing. Um, on top of that, I've been moving into my new room, and also working so I've just not really had the time to be making a video but I'm gonna ease my way back into it and I'm gonna start with this tutorial um, I'm just gonna do a skincare tutorial using this Sanctuary Spa Warming Microdermabrasion Scrub so along with that I'm gonna be using a moisturiser um, just to finish off the result with what I'm doing I've literally just purchased my Derma Roller Kit so over the next coming weeks I'm going to try and document my skin because obviously that is a big thing for me because I don't have the best skin in the world but I try to maintain it as much as possible and with this Derma Roller Kit that I've just ordered um, what it does, it it's like needles on a roller and obviously you go along your face and you just roll your face basically and the needles what they do is they break up any scar tissue so like obviously I've got some acne scars they're going to break it up and it's going to kind of make the skin think that obviously there's some sort of damage there and it's going to try and heal itself and it will just regenerate my skin and make my skin look healthier at the same time so hopefully it all works out but yeah I'll try and document that for you guys so obviously you can see how it works and maybe you'll probably try it out for yourselves but yeah let's begin with my tutorial lovely okay so we have left my bedroom so obviously I can work with a mirror and water because water will be involved um, so I've also put my hair up just because my hair is quite long it gets in my face and with this it does tend to bleach hairs so you have to be careful like extra careful with this and I've got a beard so it's even harder for me because I've got to try and avoid this area. Um, with this product I tend to use it in the shower just because obviously the steam it really opens up those pores and you know so you can work these beads into your skin. Um, if you don't want to do it in the shower steam your face you know get a hot bowl of water and just let the steam really work into your face just to open those pores and obviously get the best out of the product. So what I'm going to do is just quickly wet my face. With this you do have to apply it onto wet, reasonably wet skin just so you can move, move the scrub around. Okay so now that I've wet my face um, just apply it into areas that you feel that your skin really needs it. So obviously this is good for getting dirt out of your skin, so I use it for my T-zone. So I just start with the forehead and use a circular motion to obviously work it into your skin. And just really try and cover those areas. And um, again, try and avoid contact with the eyes because obviously this will sting. But just really, really, really work it into your skin. Oh, that. But as you can see, it does move around the face quite easy. But you're more than welcome to add more or use as much as you want to your face because there's no really, there's not really a limit for what you can use. Um, but yeah, so you just really, really work it until they're five. And what's good about this is because where it's got the beads in the actual scrub, it really does get rid of dead skin, any impurities really from your skin. So when you wash it off, you're left with nice, smooth, clean skin. And yeah, but just really work it into those pores. I know I don't really look attractive doing this, but oh well, I don't really care. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to avoid any contact with my beard, 
just as I said, it does tend to bleach the hairs and sometimes I do come out of this with a bit of a ginger beard. To be fair, I do like ginger hair, so it, it doesn't really bother me that much. But yeah, once you're happy with how much you've scrubbed anyway, um, you can leave it on your face as like a face mask because obviously it does soak in to your skin. But usually don't leave it on for longer than 10 minutes, I'd say, just because obviously you're leaving dirt on your face, really. Also, with this scrub, it's got a warming agent. So basically when you're applying it to your face, you can feel the heat, like there's some sort of heat. I don't know science, so I don't know how it works, but when you literally apply it to your face, there's like an extra heat. And I find that it, it, it's, it's a nice feeling because obviously it opens up your pores, all of that, so you can actually work it really well into the skin. Once you're happy with that, just wash your face with water. Like, sorry, I'm just gonna quickly wash my face now because obviously I've got it in my face. But even while you're washing, you can still spread it around your face and, you know, try and <laughs> get it into those pores. Gotta be careful because you don't want it in your mouth either, like I've just done. <laughs> Um, ideally, I'd say wash your face with cold water because it tightens up your pores. So obviously throughout the day you won't have any dirt going or as much dirt going into your pores. But yeah, with this, don't, I'd say don't scrub your face dry, just pat it. So obviously you keep that moisture in your face. Like so. As you can see, my face is a little bit red at the moment, just because obviously the beads in the scrub have been working on my face and, you know, proper doing their work. So yeah, once you're happy with how um, you've used the scrub and you've washed your face and all that, um, it's time to move on to the moisturizer. So I use a sensitive one just because I do have sensitive skin. And um, with my skin, I find that it's best to use a moisturiser after you've cleaned your face like properly, because that way you can just lock in all that good moisture and really look after your skin and keep it healthy. So you don't really need much of this because it, it's like silk. It literally just spreads over your face like butter. Um, not that I've spread butter on my face, but yeah. So just cover the whole face really, that's all you need to do. Um, yeah, it just locks in all that moisture like I said. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how I have done my face. Um, with this, there is no guidelines on how often you should use it, but I'd say don't use it every day. Once or twice a week is good enough. As you can see, I've just taken my hair out because I have finished this tutorial and hopefully you did enjoy it um, and if you are looking for a new product say like as a face mask face scrub to clean your face with um, take into consideration this sanctuary spa um, microderm abrasion scrub you can find it in like your local pharmacy like super drug boots anything like that and um, it is fairly cheap so it's not going out of like your budget if say you're struggling, if you're a student, you know, living that struggle. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope to have you back on my channel very soon. It has been Anthony, me. Um, take care, have a good week and yeah, see you next time. Bye.